27 weeks and three days today. Um, what I've been doing to, I guess, prepare myself for her and for her diagnosis mentally. Personally, I've been talking to other parents who've been through this to just get their experience and like what to expect because that makes a really big difference. I've been adding to my registry on Amazon based on the recommendations that other parents have made to me. I've also been thinking about maternity pictures and coming from a photographer myself, I kind of am a little bit picky. I actually got a dress. I'm just gonna open it right now. I felt like red was appropriate. It is super long, longer than me. I kind of like it. She has my bump really well. <laughs> I've also been doing a little bit of crafts. I've been buying things that I feel will be kind of special. Um, one of those things is this little heart pillow <laughs> that we got on sale after Valentine's Day. I did get a cute little romper just for, you know, something for her to wear in the hospital um, what she is able to during recovery. You can see it has little hearts on it and it does have the snaps all the way down so that she can have wires coming out um, and she can wear this in the hospital. I also have a heart box. It was actually like supposed to be like a Valentine's box but we got that right after um, finding out that she has hypoplastic left heart syndrome just to keep all of like ultrasound pictures and just little things that we kind of collect along the way. So this is the heart box. It just has some things in it that have been special to me throughout this journey so far and to just keep everything in one place. This is a onesie but I actually made this little headband yesterday that she can wear when she's a newborn, so. And then I also have a fetal Doppler just so that I can hear her heartbeat. And then I have this little heart tin and in here are some little notes. And then it also has just a little um, fortune that we got the day that we found out that she would have a heart defect. We didn't have the diagnosis. And then I have a little Polaroid picture in there. I have ultrasound pictures. I also have pictures that I took of her nursery. These are her clothes and then there's some other cute ones in there too. More ultrasound pictures. This was from our last ultrasound. We actually got to see her in 3D. And then just a couple of letters that I've gotten from uh, Derek's grandma. Those have been really sweet, um, but I was planning to keep like her hospital bracelets and stuff in here, just so that it's all like the memories of this journey. I have been doing things to like, you know, keep me excited to be having a baby, even though she's gonna have a lot of challenges in the beginning and we're gonna be going through a lot. I, I still think it's important to celebrate this pregnancy and to prepare for her. She is just as much my daughter as Chanel is, so she deserves all this. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you want to keep following Cora's journey and like the video.